Welcome to BizJet TV, my name is Fabrizio Pauli. Today's episode is all about the autonomous private jet. Yes, there's lots of talk about, uh, you know, cars driving themselves, planes driving themselves. And so we're going to have a good look into uh, the reality of autonomous flight. Today, we're going to be looking at five different projects, uh, which is interesting. You know, we've got companies like Boeing and Airbus doing stuff already. And uh, so we're going to be talking about this in uh, this episode today. So I encourage you to have a look at this and uh, let me know what you think at the end of it. Off we go. So let's look at the first project that we're going to be talking about today. This is um, interesting electrical vertical takeoff and landing autonomously flown uh, flying machine called WISC. Uh, Whisk, the Whisk Cora, that's the name of it, and Whisk are working together with Boeing, developing this. They have already successfully completed 1,500 test flights, all flown autonomously. So this is actually working, and what Whisk is aiming to do is they're starting with the cargo market before they start carrying passengers, which I think is very smart, and they're targeting the cargo feeder market, uh, which is, you know, distances over like 430 nautical miles, which is about 800 kilometers. Um, this is quite a large market. I mean, you see the FedExes of the world, the DHLs, whatever, have a lot of aircraft deployed, about two to 300 aircraft deployed on these feeder routes across the world. And if we can fly these feeder routes uh, autonomously, uh, landing and taking off vertically, um, it's just going to you know, open up so many more options because a lot of places which are remote in that uh, don't have runways or have short runways. Um, and being able to you know, operate these things in and out is great and uh, having them autonomously flown is also a great advantage as well. It just makes, you know, brings the cost down and, and makes things a lot easier to, to run. So this is the project by WISC uh, to, in association with Boeing. Very, very interesting. The second one I'd like to look at is uh, actually a Chinese project uh, called Ehang. Um, the Ehang is a two-seater uh, and this is already flying in China successfully. Uh, they have a special permit to fly in uh, a number of predefined zones in China and they already have 100 of these things already flying flying people from A to B in China so the Chinese are way ahead of the game on this one and now they're start, starting to roll this out in other countries and to get this uh, uh, to be allowed to fly over other parts of the world including Estonia as you can see here from the video footage um, they're starting to uh, roll this thing out a third project is uh, a normal conventional aeroplane a Cessna caravan operated by X uh, operated by X-Wing what X-Wing have done is they've put all their technology on board to be able to fly this airplane autonomously. This was flown in February of 2021 with a safety pilot on board and a journalist. And it flew out of San Francisco, flew around for a while and landed. Uh, completely flown uh, autonomously uh, with a safety pilot on board in case anything went wrong. And that was successful. Uh, this is just you know one of the first flights. So we'll see more of these in the next few months and years. It's getting into uh, slightly bigger aircraft here, uh, Airbus with their Airbus A350. Um, they uh, st started flying uh, this new system called Atoll. Atoll stands for Autonomous Training, Takeoff and Landing. And uh, they uh, successfully completed a flight uh, with this, uh, testing on the large A350. Um, so it's interesting to see Airbus uh, in, into this game as well as Boeing and uh, Airbus testing it already on a large airliner like the Airbus A350. And then last but not least, Garmin teamed up with uh, Cirrus to uh, install their uh, autonomous uh, autoland system on the Cirrus Vision Jet. Cirrus Vision Jet is a single engine jet that's got a parachute on it. So if the engine does have a problem, you can shut it down and deploy the parachute to land. But what they've done now is they've gone an even st a step further by installing this autoland system. It's basically a button on the aircraft. If you're a passenger, on one of these airplanes and the pilot suddenly dies or has a uh, heart attack or whatever and can no longer fly the airplane you press this button and the computer will basically select the nearest suitable airport airport it will talk to air traffic control and it will land land you safely now this has been installed not only on the vision jet it's also been uh, installed on the tbm uh, 950 uh, sorry the tbm 940 um, you can check that video here and uh, so yeah so there's already a lot of stuff happening here as far as eliminating the pilot from the cockpit uh, bear in mind that 80 percent of accidents uh, are caused by human error, whether that's the pilot or the engineer and that. So question now is, how do you feel? How would you get on an airplane that's flown by either a pilot that's sitting on the ground or by a computer? Would you trust it? 
but let's get the conversation going here on BizJet TV. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe to BizJet TV and also have a check out this uh, video here on uh, you know electrical vertical takeoff and landing and how that's moving forward. Uh, another industry that's opening up here for uh, flying. And that's all from Fabrizio Pali on BizJet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.